Uh, my name is Joe Zwanziger. I'm a professor of chemistry at Dalhousie University. I'm cross-appointed into the physics department at Dalhousie. I'm a Tier 1 Canada Research Chair in NMR Studies of Materials. In Canada, uh, the way at least my funding has worked from NSERC and also from my CRC Chair, the focus is on producing HQP, and, uh, highly qualified personnel, and on producing uh, innovative and important results. It's really critical for me to have access to large-scale computations. And so the Compute Canada machines are terrific, and what's particularly terrific about them, I think, is the personnel support for scientists, so the administrative support of the machines is very, very good. We've been studying the problem of why some glasses respond better than others under these stress load conditions. So we got into this whole game because the um, zero stress optic glass that is sold commercially now has a very high lead content. And uh, various legislations across the world, or uh, regulations, forbid the use of lead in all sorts of consumer products. And so various industries are looking for ways of understanding why lead has the properties it does and what, if anything, they could replace it with. So that's the problem that we actually solved. What we did was find the trend across the periodic table of elements for how the property of stress optic response is conferred to a glass. And we did that all on a computer. On the computer, we can screen many different um, glass additives or compositions of glass that we could, in principle, make in the lab, but we can do it so much faster and we can do it in so much more depth on the computer. You know, you need the, the, the horsepower of the big machines, but you also need the theoretical understanding of, of how atoms and molecules work together, and both of those have advanced the amount of computing cycles that we can get access to are enough to begin to solve problems large enough to have interesting answers. It's very important that we keep expanding that resource.